So again, let's do a little refresher on the clinical symptoms. We all know numbness and tingling in those three fingers, yeah, probably carpal tunnel syndrome. And I can tell you as well, it's very common for patients to have whole hand numbness. That also is a very common presentation for carpal tunnel syndrome. And I actually took a look at some patients and saw, as far as arm sensory symptoms, 20% of patients had forearm pain, and now the 10% of patients had a pain in their elbow, 67% of patients would give symptoms all the way up to their shoulder. So, not very common. You know, neck pain is 0.06%. So, if they've got neck pain, probably think of something else. But, not uncommon to have symptoms that come up the arm. Other key elements that patients will tell you about, you ask them if they do that at night, it's a positive flick sign. Obviously, very sensitive to carpal tunnel syndrome. Night, nocturnal symptoms. The thought is there's two reasons why people get it at night. Number one, we tend to sleep in a flexion based posture. Wrist flexion increases the pressure inside the carpal tunnel. Number two, you have redistribution of fluid at night, so you have increased fluid inside the carpal tunnel. 